Hello everyone and welcome to another anatomy video. This is Dr. Ayan from the Veteran Anatomy channel. Today we will talk about the inner pelvic muscle of the dog. So let's get started. pelvic muscles or the small muscles of the hip joint include the internal obturator muscle the external obturator muscle or called of course obturatorius externus uh, the gemellus muscles the quadra quadrate muscles of the thigh or quadratus femoris and finally the articular muscle of the hip joint okay in this uh, view lateral view dorsal dorsal lateral view somehow here let me just tell you that this is the related to canter of the femur bone this is the shear tuberosity again the biceps femoris is here and now i would like to show you some of the small muscles of the hip joint found uh, you know medial to the related to canter extends between the pelvis somehow to the uh, um, to the femur bone uh, firstly let me just uh, uh, tell you that this is the rest of the middle gluteal muscle which we cut here and removed you know this part from the wing of the ilium and now we would like just to reflect it like this as we described before you know under the middle uh, gluteal muscle we can see the deep gluteal muscle originate also from the gluteal fossa somewhere here and from the shaft of the ilium to the greater trochanta also we dissect it also would like to reflect it just like this here here under these two muscles here we can find the piriformis muscle uh, the piriformis muscle or in some books they will consider this muscle as a caudal part of the middle gluteal muscle uh, we are planning also to cut it in this area here reflect it up and down uh, to show you some of the other muscles so this is the biceps femoris i will also move it to the caudally to caudally here just like this and here let me as said you know cut the piriform muscle piriformis muscle here and reflect it up and down like this and here you can see now some of the small muscles of the hip joint uh, and of course in this area exactly you'll find the origin of the sciatic nerve this is the sciatic nerves moves through you know uh, over the um, the uh, sciatic notch here so here between the pelvis and the the, uh, the, um, the femur bone we can see firstly this muscle here this muscle here called the gemellus muscle the gemellus muscle on this muscle directly you can find this tendon or musculus gemelli musculus gemelli so this tendon here is the tendon of the internal obturator and uh, muscle internal obturator muscle the ten the internal obturator muscle originate from the internal surface of the ilium there and inserts to the trochanteric fossa of the femur bone. The internal obturator muscle. As we said, the tendon, we can see here just the tendon, the muscular part is somehow inside the pelvis there. So here we can see the tendon of the internal obturator muscle moves over this big muscle here, all of this called the gemelli or gemellus muscle musculus gemin all of this the musculus gemellus originate also from the uh, body here over the acetabulum and inserts to the trochanteric fossa of the femur bone just caudo, caudally here next to the gemellus muscle we can find another muscle called the, the external obturator muscle the external obturator muscle it's originate from the lateral surface uh, of the bone of, above the, the acetabulum there and uh, from the lateral surface of the obturator uh, foramen and serves also as you can see to the greater to the trochanteric fossa the external obturator muscle finally here we have another muscle called the quadratus muscle 
quadratus femoris muscle. The quadratus femoris muscle originate from the ventral surface of the ischium, as you can see from there, and inserts to the um, caudal surface of the femur bone just under the trochanteric fossa. Let me just show you the origin, the insertion of all of these muscles uh, on the bone here. As we said, the first three muscles, you know, including the gemellus muscle, the internal trochanteric muscle, including the external trochanteric muscles, all of them inserts into the trochanteric fossa, into the trochanteric fossa here of the femur bone. Okay into the trochanteric fossa while the last muscle which is the quadratus femoris muscle this muscle inserts just to the caudal proximal surface of the femur bone here below the trochanteric fossa so this is the insertion of the of this you know quadri, uh, quadratus femoris muscle this is the small muscles of the hip joint.